Okay. What's up, everybody? Um, my name is Aaron. I am a photographer for Slammed Enough Handbag Riders. Um, my Instagram is ab.media with three A's. Um, I just figured I would do this video. Um, just kind of do like a Q&A type thing, introduce myself a little bit, um, and just tell a little bit about myself. Um, just see, kind of see how it goes. So I guess let's just jump right into it. Um, like I said, my name is Aaron. I'm 24. I live in deep east Texas, in Tyler, Texas. It is not saturated whatsoever with the type of cars that I want to shoot. I mean, there's a few here and there, um, but mainly I travel to Dallas, San Antonio, Houston. Uh, I've been to Corpus for one car. Um, it just kind of depends on the type of car and you know the popularity, whatever. Um, so I've been shooting for about three years now, and I have fell in love with it. Um, all right, so let's just get into some questions and go from there. I'm gonna put the questions right up here um, and just, I guess, answer them for you guys. So let's get this started. Okay, so the first question I get asked the most is what's your camera setup? So I use a Canon EOS RP um, with a Nifty 50. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, 50 millimeter 1.8. I use that for everything, uh, video, photo. Uh, it's just all around a great lens. I used to have a 35 1.4. Um, I ended up selling that to try to get a vlog camera and took it out for one shoot, try to record the vlog, <clears throat> and just realized it wasn't really my thing to do that sort of thing. So ended up selling that camera. Um, super super regret on selling that 35. So right now it's just the 51.8. <clears throat> Next question, best beginner camera under $500. Um, I mean, the best, this is the typical, you know, stereotypical whatever, the best camera is the one that you can afford or the one you have, blah, blah, blah. Um, I say anything that you can get for $500 that shoots photos. Um, I mean, if you're a Canon fan, like get a T3i or something. If you're a Sony fan, get like an older A series. Um, it just kind of depends on your preference. Okay, so will you ever use Sony? So I do not <clears throat> not like Sony. Um, I just prefer Canon. Sony is very good whenever it comes to video, and that's something that I want to get more into in this video because I'm primarily a photographer. Next question, what's something you've taken from the car scene? Um, that's a really, really good question. And just the appreciation that people show for other people. Um, I mean, you can have a Mustang guy come up to a Honda guy and like just start chopping it up about different things that the Mustang guy likes on the Honda guy's car and just, you know, in a nice way explaining what one person would do to another person's car if they had the car. Um, and just like showing love, you know what I mean? It's the car community can be something beautiful, you know what I mean? Like the car community is just, um, it's like a family, man. Uh, and taking photos of cars has put me deeper into that car community, has let me um, make amazing friends, meet amazing people, and uh, I mean, just go amazing places. Um, and even, even then, like, I've made a lot of internet friends that I've been able to um, meet in person because of this and because of being able to go to you know, a state 20 hours away from me uh, and just meeting all these cool people like the guy who asked this question. A uh, really good friend of mine. So, let's see, next question. How did you become a photographer for Slam Enough and Bag Riders? Okay, so the Slam Enough thing was kind of like I had a photographer buddy who got into Slam Enough. I asked him 
how did you get in? And um, he just told me he just applied, uh, applied for a media team. So he recommended that I apply too because he was telling me that my quality and my content is good enough to be um, a possibility to be on their, on their media team. So I applied. Um, a couple weeks later, I got an email basically giving me the rundown on what it is to be a slam enough photographer. And uh, so that's basically it. Um, they sent me watermarks after I agreed and the rest is history. With bag riders, that's a funny story because they were, bag riders, they were the first big page to um, start liking some of my photos. Um, and then, you know, we kind of messaged back and forth, um, you know, just kind of showing appreciation toward each other. Uh, and out of the blue, I asked them, this was a few months back, um, I asked them, you know, what is it gonna take for me to be a part of Bag Riders? And they said, when the time is right, the time is right. So, uh, out of nowhere, they started a media team and I saw people starting to be added to that media team and um, I immediately messaged them and said, hey, let, let me on the team. Like, I want to be a part of, of part of you know, you guys' um, brand, basically. Because uh, I've, I've been a follower of Bag Riders for a long time. So, basically the same thing. They said, email us. I did. And, um, again, the rest is history. Um, I'm, I'm really, really, really happy to be a part of Slamming Up and Bag Riders. Like, that's how... <clears throat> The people that are on these media teams, they are they are family. I mean, we give constructive criticism. Um, you know, there's never any hate. Uh, we just, you know, lift each other up. That's basically what it is. And, you know, push out super good content. How long did it take you to start getting noticed? Uh, I mean, honestly, I didn't really get a follower jump until last year honestly i'd say probably whenever i got on slamming up that's that's whenever i really started getting noticed getting more you know posts on the slamming up page you know being able to use that watermark um in turn got me more clients which in turn uh got me noticed more um you know obviously the more you shoot the more you're going to get noticed so best time to do shoots my all-time favorite time to shoot is sunset um just because that's what i started out doing because that's what everyone loves right everybody likes a good sunset photo so that's all i did for the first six seven eight months of shooting is sunsets and so i was able to kind of hone in composition and editing and all these other things um whenever it comes to sunset shoots and so to this day, I, I will choose a sunset shoot over anything else, especially if it's a black car. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like shooting black cars because of reflections. Um, to me, it's, it's a challenge, so I enjoy shooting black cars. Plus, they look so good. They, like Black cars, if they're edited properly, they look super, super good. Um, to go along with that, what's your biggest challenge in photography? Daylight shoot, like midday shooting. I, I hate midday shooting, just because harsh shadows, right? <clears throat> and that's what everybody's gonna say. Uh, I mean, if you're shooting midday, the sun's super, super high in the sky. It's hot. It's 90 degrees outside. You're sweating, and you know it's just it's really hard to get good quality photos whenever it's midday. So. You can do it, it's just gonna be a lot more challenging in editing, um, just because you're gonna have to try to balance those shadows and those highlights. The super, super, super bright highlights and the super, super, super um, low shadows. And you just, it's, it's tough. I'll do it, I don't like to do it, but I'll do it. What's your favorite split tone combos? Um, so I've been, this is a good question. So I've been trying to 
switch up my editing style a little bit. I used to go for more of that like super moody, um, dark tones, <clears throat> really desaturated, just kind of you know black everywhere and gray everywhere, and only make certain colors pop. But here recently, I've been trying to go for more of a cinematic editing style. So what I mean by that is cooler shadows, warmer highlights, right? So that's kind of, I guess to answer the question, that's what I do. I, I do more like yellows and oranges in the highlights and then like blues and teals in the uh, shadows just because it makes it look, you can still keep that moody look with more of an appealing look if that makes sense so I'm gonna throw shots here for a second at Roman just because he's the homie and I can but dude you spelled canon wrong uh, just gonna point that out um, but to answer your question canon is only bad to Sony users just saying because I would use a Sony but Sony users wouldn't use a canon I'm just personal personal preference there are you going to be participating in any car shows this year? So yes, um, if Slammed Enough Austin doesn't get canceled again this year, then I will be going to that. I've already registered for it. That'll be my first Slammed Enough show that I've been to. I'm super excited for that. <clears throat> but like I said, if it doesn't get canceled, um, I know COVID was a big part of that, but um, hopefully, Hopefully they'll go through with it this year and I'll be able to go and get some great content for the uh, the website. Sorry if this is a super awkward video. I'm not normally um, the type to have the camera on me. Uh, it's usually the other way around. So, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, I know this is a super weird, awkward video. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know how to be the subject of a video but um if you watched it the whole way through i really appreciate it um be sure to check out my instagram right here one more thing before i end the video i am a partner with a watch company called Carver watches and they have this deal going on where if you buy one exclusive chronograph which is if you buy one exclusive chronograph which is this one right here you get two fates for free and they come in all different colors black sterling silver rose gold same thing with these bad boys right here black sterling silver rose gold so you can use code AB photo um, for 10% off also um, and use that information as you will um, thanks again for watching guys uh, I do plan on making a few more videos uh, in the future and uh, See you in the next one.